Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today is the seventh day of Ramadan, and we have the sixth advice for you to reflect on. Among the things this Ramadan that we should focus on is dua. To make as much dua as we can. The dua which so many of us neglect to engage in, choosing instead to just do the ritual dua, meaning at the end of the taraweeh when the Imam makes dua, we stand behind him and we say, Amin, Amin. Or like today, Salat al Juma, at the end of the Juma khutbah, the Imam would make a series of duas, usually in Arabic, and we say, Amin, Amin. Not really knowing what he said, we're just saying, Amin. And this does not constitute dua. For us, this doesn't constitute dua. In many countries, immediately after every salah, the imam who leads the prayer will make also dua, again in Arabic. And the people will say, Amin, Amin. And we feel that we have made dua. But the reality of the matter is that we haven't made dua. We haven't. What we have done is we have engaged in the ritual of dua. The ritual. Because even the imam who is making the dua in Arabic, he's not even thinking about what he's saying. He's just, whatever he memorized, whatever, he's just saying it. And just uh, as the occasion requires or whatever, you know, he just throws out anything. And he knows the people don't understand what he's saying anyway. So it doesn't really even matter. So when you have a situation like that, where the Imam himself, he has no engagement in the dua. And the people who are praying behind him or listening to his khutbah or in dua kunut, we cannot expect Allah to respond. Prophet Muhammad told us, Ud'u Allah وَأَنْتُمْ مُوْقِنُونَ ijaba. Call on Allah being certain that He will answer you. Call on Allah being certain that He will answer you. وَعَلَمُوا At the same time, the Prophet ﷺ gave us some conditions for Allah to answer. He didn't just leave it wide open so that any kind of dua we make, like the ones we are now making, we can expect answers for. No, he laid conditions if we are to expect an answer, then we have to fulfill these conditions. I mean, the religion is not a game. It's not about who memorized this and who memorized that and they can say this and say that. That's not what Allah's response depending on. Allah's response to our reaching out to Him, our calling on Him, depends on our own state. 
our state of taqwa, our state of God consciousness. So the Prophet Sallallahu went on to say, Wa'alamu, but know, and Allah, that Allah, la yastajibu dua min qalbin ghafilin lah, that Allah will not answer the dua, the supplication, the prayer of one who is ghafil. What is ghafil? Ghafil is negligent, not even conscious. He's making the dua with his lips, tongue, saying Arabic. He doesn't know what it means. But his mind, his heart is somewhere else. Thinking about other things. Making other plans. The body is just going through the motions. So a dua like that is not acceptable. Wala. And the heart, which is lahim, one which is playful. Negligent involves being in one place and doing one thing else. You know, we have, we have just disconnected ourselves. We're negligent of this. The, the qalbin lahin, this is the qalb, the heart, which is frivolous. Not only are we disconnected, but it's just a game. We're going through what is equivalent to just a game. So, the heart which is disconnected from the dua, will not receive Allah's answer. Allah will not accept that dua. We are making the dua, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati. We're checking our watches. We're doing something else. You know, maybe even between, we're talking to somebody next to us. You know, our minds, our thoughts, our actions are elsewhere. Our tongues are saying things we don't even know. This kind of dua is of no use. So this month, as we said in the very beginning, this should be a month of change. Every year, Ramadan should be a month of change. So we have to address all of the fundamental elements of our religion, of this way of life which Allah has prescribed for us, so that it does what Allah prescribed it for. He didn't prescribe it out of a need, we all know that. He doesn't need our prayers, he doesn't need our fasts, he doesn't need our charity, etc. You know. It is out of our need. So we need to see our own need. Recognize it. And then act according to it. Because, as the Prophet ﷺ had say, said, وسلم, nothing changes qadr illa dua except for dua. It is so powerful. Some narrations talk about it being the weapon of the believer. Silahul mu'min. It is so powerful that it can change qadr. Change what was written for us had we not 
made that dua. That's how powerful dua is. So in this month, let us try to bring that dua to life. Better we only say a brief dua after our various prayers or on different occasions than extensive long duas which we have no idea. Better we take a short one. Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afiyah. Allah, I ask you for good health, spiritual, physical, mental, keep it simple, but keep it regular. As the Prophet had said that Allah loves the good deeds which are regular. They're the best. Even if they're small. So this Ramadan, let's put that dua into first gear. Make it work for us. It's a blessing from Allah. Barakallah fikum. Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.